Hey guys, what's up? It's the Cast the Gengar, and I need to take a break from Facebook because it is horrible. If you didn't know, I'm recording all these the day after Election Day, and there's just a lot of stupid fucking people. Like, I'm not saying that people who are voicing their opinion if they voted for Hillary or Trump are, yeah, are any, like, stupider than anyone else, but... I'm saying that people who are going out on a rant saying that the people who voted for the third party fucked everyone over, those are the people I'm upset about. Like, specifically blaming the people who voted for a sane candidate is kind of stupid. Especially thinking that our vote actually made a difference in the end, because it didn't. The Electoral College fucked us over, and if you can't comprehend that our individual votes don't really do much, I think you need to learn a little bit about politics. I don't know that much either. I will say that. I barely remember anything that was taught to us in school, which wasn't much of anything about voting, other than teachers told us that we had to go out and vote if we were old enough, or if we had our little own, um... In middle school, we had fake elections. In, in these fake elections, we would vote as a school, and we would say, this is who we wanted for president. I remember that specific very day when our middle school principal announced the, the school that the Ob Obama did win our school election. <laughs> did it mean anything in the end? No. Did it teach us something? A little bit. But a lot of people also don't tell us also that uh, we do vote for more than just the president on the ballot. But I'm sorry, it just made me really angry when I saw that on Facebook. Um, I know it's again. I I know this is a second episode I've gone into fucking politics, and I know that nobody can stand this. They can't stand it in real life. Why the hell would they want to escape to a video that does the same thing? And I'm really sorry about that. I'm really sorry. I could have made you just click off this video just for saying that in the beginning. But, god damn it, stop blaming the third party supporters for everything that didn't go your way. Because if Trump won, or if Hillary did win, the Trump supporters would have been saying the same fucking thing. And there's just as many, or well, not just as many, but there's just about as many as them as there were Hillary supporters. So either way, we were fucked. Alright, bitching on social media isn't going to help anyone, and bitching to other people that it's their fault because they voted for a sane candidate is just stupid. Alright? If Bernie was in this election, we wouldn't have this problem, alright? Trump is a joke. And he's... This election has turned our country into a joke, and it's... It's, it's ridiculous. But now more than ever... People need to come together as a fucking country and just fucking just get rid of all this stupid shit that's happening. But it's not going to happen because this country is divided so fucking hard that it's just going to fucking just explode. But I'm just asking. I hope the new tricks don't drop before Pokemon Sun and Moon come out because I really want to play Sun and Moon. But I'm sorry for starting off on a really shitty note, but I, I, I needed to say it. I'm not going to make a whole five minute video dedicating it just to politics because I don't like talking about politics. I, 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 I hate bringing this up in a video that's supposed to be fun, me playing Pokemon. You know, Pokemon Sun and Moon comes out in freaking nine days. I should be happy, I should be excited, I should be freaking ecstatic right now, but I'm not. Because freaking so many people are just so fucking stupid right now over something that even if it was if it was up to people and it was not the electoral college's vote that determined the president we would have Hillary it would not be good it would not be acceptable it would not be the lesser of two evils because they're both shit end of story all right now people just stop Go back to posting pictures of your fucking sandwiches. Go back to posting pictures of your vacation. Just do something other than bitching about who won and who did not win on yesterday. Like... <sighs> like... 
I really hate it too, because now that I'm saying this out loud, I think I sound like an idiot because I'm bringing it up and I'm the one bitching about it. I sound like such a little bitch right now. But I don't care. It makes me angry and I want to edit this out and I want to just not ever show this to the world. But then again, I am so mad. But anger will get us nowhere. We need to accept what happened and we need to move on. And if you can't do that, I don't know what to tell you. But blaming people who want a sane candidate or someone who can actually make a difference is not the answer. And I will not accept that. You cannot take the third party voters as a scapegoat for a reason you did not win. Because in reality, they had nothing to do with it. The reason you didn't get your Hillary, or you didn't, well, you got your Trump, the reason you didn't get your Hillary is not their fault. It's the colleges. And it's a system that should be removed. I think that each individual person's vote should mean the same to everyone else. Not left up to some people in a building. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how the electoral... I, I don't know what exactly the electoral college really is. I just know that once everyone makes a vote, all those votes get sent off to the electoral college. They get sorted through. And then the college is... Or this, the, the representatives for that state are the one who make the vote. Correct me if I'm wrong, but... If it's anyone's fault that... Either of them made it this far. It's theirs. And it's also a lot of people's fault that Bernie was the, the person we needed the most. <sighs> Again, I'm sorry, but this has gone on for seven minutes and I can't believe that. I'm really sorry I wasted half an episode. In fact, I will make this episode longer. But... I hope that you listened to what I had to say and you didn't take it the wrong way. It's just, don't lash out on other people like I just kind of did, but don't, don't, don't be one of those people who just randomly go on Facebook or something and make someone feel like shit because they didn't vote for someone that you wanted. Alright, it's over, it's done with, we have to deal with this for four years now or until he gets impeached. Either way, life is gonna go on. Again, unless the nukes drop, because then, then life stops. But either way, just calm down, take a breath. And if you have people like this on your social media as well, why not text some friends? Get together. Just go out for a breather. Eat some pizza. Just try to, just, just try to take a break from it. Because until this mess dies down. I really think social media is just going to be a toxic place to be spending your time. And that's what I'm going to be doing. In fact, I'm going to be spending a lot of time making videos now. I have Destiny footage backed up. I'm probably going to start streaming Outlast. Um, whenever my connection, you know, stops being shit. I actually want to stream Outlast 1. It's not Halloween anymore, I know. But people can celebrate Christmas this early. I can fucking still celebrate Halloween. Alright. So let's move on with our lives. And we are on Mount Dino and we were trying to save Zapdos. Last time, I'm sorry I waited this long to get this far, but last time we left off, we faced off against Thor, the poison gym leader, who had a very, very dirty mouth. But, eh, whatever. It's, it's whatever. The puzzle was extremely bullshit, but again, Whatever. We made it through it and that's all that matters, and we could actually just go to the next island, but I have a feeling the next gym won't open until we activate the story sequence. Now, right now I'm just trying to look for a, uh, maybe uh, someone trying to heal Pokemon or something, I don't know. I also don't. Um, the last episode kind of left me salty as well, and did you just seriously? I mean, I'll take it. Won't be happy with it, but I'll take it. Um, so talking about Sun and Moon, um, I, I did mention, yeah, that my demo, yeah, last episode I mentioned how if, you know, that 
just because of the whole switching this on my DS or whatever, just fuck. I just fucked that. That, because of that, like, it messed up me doing any events on the demo. And I am upset about that. Uh, I will eventually move on, and I will, of course, like, do what I said, which was I'll just hack the items in if necessary, because, honestly, there's no point of starting a 24-day-long demo when there's nine days left of the demo, or, the, like, nine days left till the game comes out. It's a stupid thing, and... Just... Why? If people want to just play through the demo early and just, just switch today, uh, okay, whatever. Okay, not everyone has the time to check the demo every so days just to, like... How you know 12 days from, like, then they weren't gonna be busy at, like, a party, funeral, I don't know. They can't just whip out their DS in the middle of their job and just fucking play it. I mean, maybe if they were on a break or something, but... Even then, I'm... It's... It's... it's it, they should've made it, like... The Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire demo, where every day something random happened. So that way... Actually, I need to switch out my team. Or not my team, my, uh... I'm switching out Ord, because he's getting way too overpowered right now. But I, I wish that the demo was... Every... So days... Like... Not every so days, but... Just every day you logged on, every time you launched the game, something different would happen, you know? <clears throat> I'm also pumped that, uh... I don't know if anyone's seen this, but... The, oh God, really? It's always when I go to start something. I'm um, Regina, you ungrateful Bright. How dare you get in my way? Henry, did you think I'm weak now, Mother? I refuse to let you capture Zapdos, Lucario, use Mach Punch, and finish the Warwick off. Fuck, so... Why are they swearing all of a sudden? I refuse to let you capture Zapdos, Mother. You have no more Pokemon battle. You've lost this time. Moltres, you fly. Lucario, you turn. Uh, Zapdos, hey, sup, bruh? That's bound over that rally, man. My mother's a really awful person. She wants to capture you for power, but she doesn't deserve it. I don't want her to catch you, and I don't want to stop her from. And I want to stop her from catching other legendary Pokemon. So if okay, will you help me? Two birds, one stone. Uh, no offense. Hey, it's all cool, but right. He was saying something. I was able to be my mother without your help, and now I have Zapdos. We'll stop her together. I hope you aren't mad at anything. Just good luck with your ranked gym battles. Uh, is that just why? But! The weather is getting worse. Did. You didn't listen to us. Zapdos is in the middle of saying something, though. I'm guessing now that we're capturing them, it's fucking up the ecosystem or, like, whatever, but. You gotta let people finish their sentences, man. That's fucking rude. Like, hopefully, I, I, I'm guessing I get Arnakuno. I ain't wasting. I ain't wasting. I ain't wasting. Wait. I ain't wasting a Master Ball if I have to fight Arnakuno, but. Uh, I'm guessing that's who we'll get. Um, Juno Palace, she's remembered the Jodo Elite for this is her hometown, too. I, I just remembered. Um, I, didn't, I don't know if I read the sign up here. I think it's this one. Later on, who gives a damn? It rains all the time. I, I don't know. What? But that was pretty funny. So, I don't remember what island you told us to go to, to be honest. Um, but if I see a new name, I guess I'll go there. Um, Rif Riffin? Riffin? Um, straight there. I want to explore the ship at the same time, I really don't. Um, no, I don't want to go at the Jedi. Is this... No? Where am I supposed to go? Um... Uh... Oh, Cola. I thought I said cancel. That's why I didn't even notice it. And away we go. Shall I take you straight there? Would you like to explore the ship? I would like to go straight there, please. Alright, so Colo Island. Um, birds called out. Young one bundle up. I don't... I, I love snowy areas in Pokemon. I, I'm kind of sad that there wasn't one in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Was there? I don't think so. I mean, there was the Ash place that was kind of close, I guess, but... You like the snowman? I built it. You better not destroy it. Oh, I kind of want to know. I'm glad to see the snow has returned to Fen Island. Um, uh, there's a Pokemon gym on the upper part of town. You have to take a lift to get there, though. I want to play Animal Crossing. I, I really want to play Animal Crossing New Leaf on video, but I don't have the proper recording software, and I don't know if you knew this, but 
Um, can I pick that up? It looks like one of Ricky's Pokeballs. It'd be rude to steal it, but should I? Who's Ricky? That was gonna be a bad idea to steal it, but I want it. I think it's a bad idea to have your Pokemon Center up here as well, don't you? Um, we'll poke one and we will put the Shocker back for a little bit. I know I'm probably gonna get a lot of shit from people telling me I'm gonna steal the Pokemon, but I want it. And who knows, maybe when I click yes, it's actually gonna be like, oh, why'd you do that? I'm at Frozen Entrance. Oh, I'm guessing the entrance isn't here, but it, the snow claps on top of it. Who? I don't know who Ricky is, but I'm going to take the Pokeball. Again, I know I'm a horrible person, but... It looks like one of Ricky's Pokeballs. Be rude to steal, but should I obtain Honchkrow? Is, it, is this a shiny one? No? I don't know who... Who's Ricky? Uh, I'm glad I left back in this. So, oh. Okay. I also think it's stupid that, and it was a screenshot that released a while back for uh, Pokemon like Sun and Moon. But apparently they're introducing a new stone just for, uh, Vulpix. For the Alolan Vulpix, which is called, like, the Ice Stone or something like that, or Glacier Stone. And it's just gonna be for Ice types, and I think it's really stupid, um, that they're doing it for that, but they didn't do that for Glaceon. Like, Eevee is supposed to be known as the Evolution Pokemon, which evolves by stone, which correlates with the first three things, but then after that they introduced, like, Instead of using the Moon and Sunstone for Espeon and Umbreon, they're like, by day and by night, you know? Um, the Deadly Dragon Lord. What the fuck's with these people? Like, they're choosing some weird things. So I guess I need... Spe- er... Uh, board. I mean, I guess I could also just... I don't have a fairy type, though, so that's, that's horrible. Um, I mean, I do! I don't- I just don't think she's... I don't know what level she is. I have two Honchkrows and I hate it. I hate it so much. I hate Honchkrow. Wait, is this the person that gave us the Honchkrow the first time? Like, where's the OT? Me? And I'm guessing... Um? I stole a Pokemon and I'm just completely nonchalant about it. Like, yeah, whatever. Uh, it's 56, so that won't go well. It doesn't even know. Alright, so never mind. Um, I was really hoping that maybe we could get Kaiba in on this, but whatever. Oh. Oh yeah, legitimately gonna change dragon types here. You'll need to ride a Digim Leader's dragon types to cross the chasm. Good luck. Are you afraid of heights? Um, I used to be. Uh, not so much anymore. Um, I believe I got over my fear of heights during the fair of some sort. Um... I always like the dragon I can fly over the chasm. Um, I used to live in a town called Holmesdale, and they had this thing called the Wayne County Fair. And they had this one ride. It was like the first time I ever tried going on a ride that went really high. And it was like this arm that would reach, like, it was an arm with the, like a circle of seats on it. And it would lift everyone up in the air and turn them upside down and shit. And I was scared of heights, I was terrified to go to that, but my cousin was like, Yo, it'll be alright, just go on with me and it'll be fine. Garchomp can't fly! What? What? That's not a- Bruh! 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 Whatever, let's... Fuck it, I don't- I'm- uh... I'm a brain. But after that I was a little I was a little less afraid of heights, but I wasn't totally like uh, I wasn't totally for the whole uh, uh, like very high things until there was another ride at this Wayne County Fair called the Zipper 
And they might call it something else um, from affairs that you have or not. But it's basically this giant, like, oval. Or, yeah, it's kind of like an oval shape. And it has these carts on it. And these carts are, like, shaped as a person sitting down. So, you know, you can sit inside. And the front of the cage is locked with uh, kind of like a door, a, a door handle that would keep you in the place, and like a little pin. This little pin would keep this door sh uh, shut. But basically, what would happen was uh, it would start spinning, and this oval would actually rotate, and the carts around it would also rotate at the same time. So you could be going. Basically, you'd just be using momentum and shit to like move the car around, and eventually it would start flipping you over. Now, a lot of people are like, "Wow, you're fucking insane for doing that," but it's actually a really fun ride. And every time I go to the fair, which I haven't gone for a few years now, I always look forward to it because it's my favorite ride. And I guess it's the same with the salt and pepper shaker. Um, if you don't know what the salt and pepper shaker is, it's basically like the little rocket cars, or whatever that would spin in a circle and then like do flips I, I don't know if that's what they called it for every fair that's just what they called it for the fairs I went to um, I also want I, I, I know there's not gonna be anything here but I kind of want to make sure that I'm not missing any items but yeah that, that's how I got over my fight our uh, fear of heights um, actually recently last time I went back there was Oh, I think early high school, late middle school, I actually had a friend come over and he spent the summer with me and the other friend I was spending my summer with. Um, I was so glad that my that the hosts, were, which were my friend's parents, actually allowed me to have a friend come over and visit as well because I really just wanted someone to see where I came from, where I grew up, because it's the opposite way around. Like, I moved here... And they always have this, these fond memories of their like their town and their place that like they like to share and stuff. But I, mean, I want to share memories of my town, you know? It's not a big town. It's really small. It was really nice. Sure, there might have been crimes going on with drugs, but I never knew that. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a really nice small town. When the autumn happens, it's the most beautiful place I've ever seen. And I love it. If I could move back there, I probably would. But it's life's not that easy. Um, I wonder what that sparkling stuff was in the corner. Um, do I have enough dragon claws to get me to a fight? That is the question, and I'm gonna answer that. It is no. Um, we're over the 20 minute mark, but like I said, for that huge like eight minute rant in the intro, I'm gonna make this episode a little longer for you guys. Again, I'm really sorry for that. So, I know, if you, social media, again, this is not going to be at the politics, I swear to God. Um, so if you've noticed, I don't really post anything to my Facebook page anymore. And I don't really do much on Twitter. Um, it's not that I don't like posting there, it's just that I don't have many followers, so I just don't see a reason to. Even though the reason, too, is to keep in contact with the people who watch my videos and have a lot of fun. Um, like, on my Facebook page, there was always one person. Um, he actually looked like my friend Paul, which I guess is another reason why I got along so well with him. But he basically was just there. Like, every time I made a post, he commented on it uh, if I didn't feel well. And I commented on the videos saying, like, yo, I'm gonna miss a video today, or whatever. Um... He commented on that, asking if I felt well or whatever, and it was really cool. But I don't have that anymore. The most I have is some dude followed me on Twitter, who asked for who, who started. He, he was on my friends list originally on Facebook, but he made this thing where he was looking for people to give him money to start a YouTube career, which I I understand if you pre previously made content on it, but no, it was. He wanted like a thousand dollars to go out and buy all this equipment, but he had no idea what he's doing. He's like, I don't know what editing is, I don't know how to record stuff, and I've never done this previously before. And he followed me on Twitter, and he's been trying to like do collabs with me and shit, but 
I mean, I don't. First off, I don't even do the same type of content that he does. And second off, I, I don't. I don't want to. I want to do videos with my friends, or maybe people that I want potentially want to become my friends, not people who want to use me or, yeah, use me for views because. Surprisingly, he has less subscribers and viewers than I do. But either way, let's get right into this gym fight. You probably don't care about any of this. I'm going to come through here and I've beaten them soundly, and the proof states that the dragons are simply unbeatable. If you need further proof, then turn your attention to the battle now. If I had a fairy type, you would be dead. I hate fairy types. Oh my god, shiny Flygon. I'm guessing all the gym leaders in this area have a shiny Pokemon. Shiny Flygon is definitely one of my favorites. I just like the shades of green and blue and orange that they put together. The colors complement each other very well. Uh, I would actually like a shiny Flygon hoodie. I wouldn't wear it as much as a Gengar hoodie or a Mega Gengar hoodie, but it'd be awesome. Um, oh yeah. Uh, for those who don't know, I am a fan of a series called Common Rider, and I know I'm changing a lot of subjects. I I'm just really talkative all of a sudden. Also, my nose is getting really stuffy. I don't know why. I don't have allergies, so that can't be it. Ugh. But, um, the series called Kamen Rider is basically like Japanese Power Rangers, but a lot more serious. Well, serious in like, not their tone, but like, some of the messages in some of the episodes do take a serious turn, like, one series I watched, not gonna name a specific one, a person had to kill their friend because he turned into a monster, and, well, he just didn't want to because he believed his friend was still alive. But they ended up actually killing him. Not, oh, I, I beat him up and now he's better all of a sudden, you know? Like, and then he found, then at the end of the series he realized that a friend he spent the whole series looking for was the first monster that he ever killed. Which, I guess that's a huge spoiler on its own if you know what series I'm talking about. But... Hopefully you don't. Hopefully. And they came up with a new series called X-Aid. Um, Kamen Rider X-Aid. Uh, fully. And I don't know much about the series, I haven't started watching it because I still need to get through Ghost, Wizard, O's, and all that other stuff. And... Basically it's about these doctors who use the power of video games to help their patients. I know it sounds really weird, but like... Each common Rider uses a different genre of video game, like I believe the main character uses like platformers. The second guy come in, that comes in uses RPGs and he uses like a sword that changes from the elements of fire and ice. Uh, the third guy who comes in is about shooters and he has a pistol weapon and he looks kind of edgy, not gonna lie. But then like there's also a... Uh, uh, one that's based around sports games. Uh, Ricky punched your rink or ticket. I have to say this is a pretty decent battle for a gym battle at least. Oh yeah, take this too as a gift. TM35. Um, uh, flamethrower. It's not a dragon type move, so it isn't good enough for me, but it's perfect for squirts like you. Now that you have two punches on your ticket, you can go try to play Alphile. Sora will be your next challenge. <laughs> Although it isn't a challenge as I was. Uh, Talk to my Flygon if you want to lift back to the entrance, unless you want to walk the whole way or something. Anyway, see ya. Um, but, yeah, the other guy is like a, uh, I want to say sports game? It's like, oh my god, there's a baby crying in the background, I'm so sorry about that. Uh, hopefully noise cancel will get rid of that sound, I, I really can't stand it. But... Uh, let's see. I've been responsible for holding, upholding each traditional passed on to co for generations. Well, I actually just learned it three days ago. Would you like to teach one of your Pokemon to move Ice Punch? Yes! Um, the Shocker. Let's see. I believe the Shocker is a... Um... Let's get rid of Quick Attack. And we'll also teach it to... Wait, Wukong can't learn Ice Punch? What stupid crap is that? And we'll get rid of... Fe... No. Actually... No. Yeah, right. 
Alright, I'll be here. Yes, okay. Um, isn't it weird how Dragon Type Gym tends to wind up snowy locales? First Blackthorn, now Kolo, I Kolo Island? Yeah, I think so. Um, it's been 30 minutes, alright, I think this is a long enough episode. Uh, I'll continue, or actually, before I finish, I'll just... Uh, the last common Rider is, like, a sports guy, and... They each go through, like, this first and secondary form, which... Their first form, which is level one, is, like, a chibi version of their actual self. And when they level up, they turn into, like... Well, more of a Power Ranger kind of style hero, where they have, wear the suits and everything... But this one Kamen Rider, his level 2 isn't really a, uh, like one of those, because he turns into a dirt bike. <laughs> I don't know how, it's kind of funny, but it's weird, but either way, if it's your stylish show, go watch it. I hope you all have a great day. I'm sorry if the politics I mentioned ruined it, whatever. And, um, yeah, I hope you liked the video. Please leave a like down below. Comment. And uh, comment down below which you're looking forward to in the future. Um, Pokemon Sun and Moon should be coming out extremely soon to this release, um, which is insane. I can't even believe I'm saying that. And uh, maybe recommend a series you would like to see. Uh, I'm looking for something maybe to do on weekends or, or just like to casually do on my breaks, or maybe even stream. Because I still have XSplit on my computer. I don't know how well streaming works on my computer, but I can still stream for my PlayStation 4, so I have like. J Stars Victory or uh, Outlast, like I said, I'm going to be doing that soon. If you want to see some Crucible and Destiny, I don't know how many people actually watch the Destiny videos, but there you go. <clears throat> um, uh, you know, stuff like that. So again, I hope you all have a great day. Thank you for watching the video, and like down below, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and until next time, bye bye